Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Today's cooking collab is all about dessert. Why not? It's my birthday. I'm going to be 974 years old. How do I keep my youthful appearance? Good, clean living. And the occasional soak in a pool of student tears. Okay, in this bowl, I'm creaming together half a cup of butter, half a cup of vegetable oil, one and three-fourths cup of granulated sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm just going to whisk that all together until it's smoothish and well incorporated. To this mixture, I'm going to add two eggs. Oh, if you get a little eggshell in, just use the big shell, scoop it out. It's no big deal. I'm going to whisk these two eggs into the butter mixture until it is all incorporated as well. Next we're going to add in one half a cup of sour cream, continuing to whisk and keeping it smooth. Next, we're going to add in our flour. We need two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. We're going to add this in a little bit at a time, stirring really well in between each addition so that we keep that batter as smooth as we can. Now we're going to add in our cocoa powder. This is three-fourths of a cup of Hershey's cocoa powder. It didn't specify really what kind, so I suppose you can just pick your favorite. Um, just a word of warning, cocoa powder goes everywhere. So when you pull off the safety seal, you get cocoa powder everywhere. When you put your measuring cup in the cocoa powder, it goes everywhere. When you carefully dump it into your bowl, it still goes everywhere. You've been warned. Just get that all stirred in until you have a nice smooth mixture again. And then you'll be adding in your zucchini. Okay, I've been really good so far about following all the directions. Now it's calls for two and a half cups of zucchini. And I didn't measure the zucchini. I have all of those bags of zucchini in my freezer from this summer. So I just took out a bag and I said, yeah, 
that looks like it's about two cups and I thawed it out and now I'm just going to mix it into the batter so that I don't have any pockets of uncovered zucchini. Once the zucchini is fully incorporated, then we're going to add two thirds of a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Stir those in and then it will be ready to put into our prepared pan. For our pan, we're gonna be using a nine by 13 baking pan coated with nonstick spray. While our cake is in the oven, we're gonna go ahead and prepare our chocolate ganache. We're gonna take 10 ounces of semi-sweet chocolate chips, and then we're going to add 3 fourths of a cup of heavy cream that we have simmered in a saucepan. Just pour the cream on top of the chocolate chips, wait about three or four minutes, and then just start to mix it together. When it starts out, you are going to think there's no way you are going to get solid chocolate out of this mixture. So you just have to be patient and you have to just keep stirring, 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 and it will eventually come together. Okay, with a little bit of patience and a whole lot of stirring, you will eventually come to this point and you're gonna have a pretty liquidy chocolate sauce by once you get this all stirred together. It will thicken as it cools. So we're just gonna let this hang out because our cake is still in the oven. And then once everything is cooled down, we'll pour it on top of our cake. Our cake has been in the oven for 30 minutes at 325 degrees. We know it's done when the top bounces back. Once the cake is cooled, spread the ganache on top, let it sit for about 30 minutes, and then it will be ready to share. I hope you enjoyed cooking with me today. Check out all my friends in the collab and see what they have come up with for a fantastic February dessert. We'll see you next time.